Hey everyone, it's time to finish modeling Mario. Let's start with these little hair dangles. Add a six vertex circle. Rotate and position it where this hair thing is. Extrude and scale out some faces. Merge the tips at center. Set origin to geometry. Position with the reference. Shade smooth and fine tune. Duplicate, rotate, and scale to match the other piece. And he's looking pretty good. Time for the hat. Let's make a new collection for the hat reference. And add the hat reference images. Enable the front Mario reference image. Select the hat and then the Mario reference. In the side end menu, right click on the location and choose copy all to select it. Do the same with the scale. Now do that with the side and bottom reference images as well. Disable the Mario reference. Now our hat reference is all lined up and good to go. Add a cube. Add an edge loop with Ctrl R, delete the bottom vertices, rotate in position, add a subdivision modifier, scale on the X axis, add an edge loop here, shape these to match the side reference. Add edge loops, keep positioning. That looks good on the side. Select this top face and scale down on the X axis. Select these vertices in groups and scale on the X axis. Try to match the shape to the reference. When it looks decent to you, apply the subdivision modifier. Then select all and duplicate. Separate by selection. Add a subdivision modifier, then scale to match the reference again. Reposition anything that needs some adjustment. Shade smooth. Select this bottom loop, extrude and scale. In object mode, add a 32 vertex circle. Scale down and position it to be the front of the hat. Position it on the Z axis here. Select all back vertices and shape with proportional on. Pull these two vertices back to this point. Select all and extrude up. Scale on the Y axis. Delete these back vertices. Select this top loop and duplicate it. Scale by zero on the Z axis. Position and rotate it here. Delete these vertices. Turn on snapping to vertex and snap these vertices together. Fill in these faces like so. Delete half and mirror it. Add an edge loop here and connect here with J. Select all and shade smooth. Select this bottom loop, extrude and scale, position it here. Let's make a quick guide. Add a 32 vertex circle, put it here, delete these back vertices. Select these front vertices, extrude back. Delete this guide object. Then create some tri-faces here to fill in the rest. Select this edge and mark sharp. Add an edge split modifier. Delete half and mirror it. Enable Mario's head and move stuff around so that the hat fits. Select these bottom vertices on this object, duplicate, and separate with P. This is what it should look like. Turn on snapping to face. Turn on in front and start extruding up vertices and making faces. Add a mirror modifier with clipping enabled. Delete these vertices. Keep making loops of faces. Whenever the shading looks weird, recalculate your normals or shade everything smooth. Move stuff around to keep the faces somewhat even and match the reference.
turn off in front. As always, adjust to your heart's content. Select this bottom loop, duplicate, and separate with P. Add a 16 vertex circle to this new object. Position it in the hat. Connect these two loops up. Select this upper loop, extrude and merge at center. Pull to the mirror line and shade smooth. Add a 24 vertex circle. Position to become the hat's logo. Extrude this loop forward and scale a tiny bit. Extrude and scale. Move it forward and merge vertices at center like so. Select this loop, extrude and scale, move it forward, merge like so again. Extrude and merge at center. Shade smooth, recalculate outside. Extrude the back loop back. Extrude again and merge at center. Use proportional to shape this logo. Shape the hat so the emblem fits nicely. Make a new hat collection and put these objects in there. Put the unused objects into the archive folder. Duplicate the hair object and move this new hair to the hat collection. Use proportional to fit this new hair object under the hat. And he's looking pretty good. One last thing I almost forgot is the knuckles on his glove. Add a 12 vertex circle, scout down and put it on his hand. Extrude and scale this loop. Select these vertices with this one last and merge at last with M. Do the same on this side. Fill this space in, divide with J. Pull up this middle vertex. Extrude this loop and merge at center. Divide these faces with J. Select all in this vertex last. Turn pivot point to active element and rotate it until it fits on his hand. In side view, use the spin tool. Use 24 steps, 360 is the angle, and adjust the Z location of the center until these three fit on his hand. Select all the other ones and delete. Fine tune the positioning. Add a mirror modifier and use the body as the mirror object. That's the modeling finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave us a like or a comment and share the video if you'd like to help the channel grow. In the next part, we get to my personal favorite, texturing. Love you all, goodbye.